Hello there, creative friends. It is Haley here, and I'm sharing a little something from the studio. This was an intuitive painting I finished up a few days ago. Um, I started it one night when I needed to just kind of get away from the day and not really think. And so here you see me laying down some ground with a little bit of gesso with some pigment, um, acrylic pigment mixed in, uh, just to give a color to that base. And then again, I was just trying not to really do anything with a lot of thought. So just being really free and letting the line move with the way the gesso had moved onto the page. That's an ink tense block that I'm using there. Uh, and just kind of playing with some composition based off of what was happening in the page, what my body, arm, hand was feeling in response to that. So really loosely laying down that space and then beginning to block in some color. I gave myself one little restriction on this uh, painting and that was uh, no blue. So sometimes I do that to myself because I love blue and I use blue a whole lot and I'll continue to do so, I'm sure. Um, you know, unless we have a falling out or something. But <laughs> I do like to occasionally work on a page without blue and see how that freshens up the other colors for me. So I was really just playing with some different tones of greens and umbers, and then you'll see um, some magentas and things like that thrown in. And, and I was playing with um, some thicker acrylics, thicker bodied, um, just a mix of different brands to be perfectly honest, and then some high flow fluids, one of the that kind of green, olivey green that I threw on the page there that's real bright was one of the high flow goldens. Um, those are wonderful to mix in with some other paints and you'll get some interesting textures sometimes too. And uh, playing with uh, the spatula, the knife, the paint brushes, and mostly just keeping myself moving and again not to attach to any one thing blocking in color blocking in layers and shape and uh, and then here you see me blocking in the white area and this is a little something that is funny to me I'm curious about it I there's something you know whether it's a circle or a shape uh, that I, I seem to keep wanting to do these white areas and I think sometimes it's like a, a spaciousness on the page, a place to rest the eye, but it always has some shape to it, like this will end up being kind of a teardrop thing, and I don't always know what to do with it in the piece. If it's an abstract piece, it doesn't matter so much, but um, but I kind of enjoy it, kind of playing with it. Um, right there now, as I'm looking at the video, it looks a little bit like a curled flower of some kind uh, that hasn't yet opened, but it changes here on the painting as well. And then I brought in some of that, it's almost a red oxide, like burnt sienna red oxide kind of color. Um, gave an interesting little shift in the, the color that was happening on the page. And uh, yeah, and so this whole um, first evening of working with this painting, you know, I don't know, I maybe spent an hour kind of playing around between letting the gesso layer dry and then adding some layers and, and just really taking my time with it. Um, and when all was said and done, to be perfectly honest, I was like, oh, that that's great. Well, at least I moved color. <laughs> like, I felt better afterwards, but I didn't particularly like what came out of the session. You know, my judgy part of my mind was not particularly into it. Um, but there were some interesting things. There just was a lot of things I would have changed if I were to actually plan out the painting, which I'm doing more of in my, um, in my practice right now, which I'm not really sharing as much um, publicly yet. And so, there I'm pulling off the tape because I know that often makes me feel a little bit better when I see that white border on it and I liked it. And then I woke up that next morning uh, to the news of the New Zealand shooting and I honestly like didn't want to make anything. I wrote a blog post about that. Uh, you know, why does art even matter? And decided, well, I, I know I need to make something on a day like today because it really is a medicine for some of us and it is for some of us why we're here and how we cope. and even if we don't know why it matters. And so that's what I did the next day, is I went through with my paint pens. And I began, I decided I was going to listen and learn more about Islam, learn more about what Muslim Americans go through. I listened to some wonderful videos um, and, and that sort of thing. Did some reading off and on throughout the day. Um, and just let myself feel what I was feeling about the world news, but continued to just turn it into a meditation here on my page. So not thinking so intensely about it in a direct way, but letting it move through me and letting the art be part of my medicine and process with that um, from a place that feels particularly 
helpless um, and not knowing exactly what to do in those moments. So that's what I did that day. And, and I decided that my goal was simply to make this painting I wasn't crazy about, something that felt a little more beautiful to me. Um, embellishments, um, defining the lines, defining the edges, the shapes, uh, and seeing what happens there. Sometimes pieces change drastically for me when I do that. And other times they don't, they just become more vibrant and energetic like this one did. And, and then I liked it better, and I added a few more things, uh, and this is what came of it. And, uh, yeah, it doesn't fix the world, but it, it felt good to be in the practice that is my medicine, and good to also let myself feel the sadness I was feeling about the state of the world and what is out there, and to let that be... Um, with the process of transformation that can happen on a painting or a piece of art or whatever we might be bringing to life in our own little corners of the world. <laughs>